Welcome to the Classy Career Girl podcast. My name is Anna Runyon, former corporate consultant turned entrepreneur, and each week I bring you an inspiring lesson to help you find career fulfillment, work-life balance, and happiness so you are ready for the incredible impact that you can make on this world. Thank you for joining me today. Now let's begin today's class with Classy Career Girl. Welcome back everyone, it's Anna Runyon, and today we are going over the 12 daily habits for success and happiness. And I am gonna take you behind the scenes and share with you 12 things that I try to do every single day. Now, note, disclaimer, before we start, please know that I rarely do all 12 of these things. It's difficult, I get it, to do all 12 of these things. It's, it's difficult to do one of these things, I swear to you. Like each morning is a fresh new day where I try to get a few of these things done. I try and that's what's important here and that means I do some of these things every day because some is better than none and I always have a better day when I do some of these things. And I created this list about two months ago after my daughter was born and let's just be honest, with two kids in the house, it's hard to get things done. We can get a couple things done each day. We cannot, I cannot be the, super achiever that I used to be. And I do not have the quiet time that I used to be. I do not have the alone time that I used to have. And that makes this list really hard to get done every day. But I made this list and every day is new and I check it off every day for and I try and get as many of these things done that I can because that will lead to more success and happiness. The days I do these things or as many things as possible, the happier I am. And I, I know without a doubt that doing these daily habits has led to the success of our physical planner that we launched in December. If I had not been trying to do a lot of these every day, I don't think I actually would have been in the right space mentally to actually make that goal happen. So I believe that if you are doing some great daily habits, that's going to help you complete your goals because I've seen that happen in my life. So enough talking about all this stuff. Let's start talking about the habits that I try to do every single day. And the first one is working out and doing some sort of stretching. So if I can do something active every single day, I feel better about myself. So I try and do it in the morning. Um, You know, my morning is no longer 5 or 6 a.m. workouts. My morning is more now like 9 a.m. because my nights can be a little rough with the newborn these days. Um, So I try to do a workout before lunchtime. Like if I can get it done before lunchtime, I will have a better day. uh, I'll feel better about myself and it it will just be a better day. So ideally, I've been going to the gym. Um, Another thing that's been helping me is I take classes because there's a specific time that I have to get there to take a class. And this has been really helpful for me because I usually take along my four and a half year old daughter and she goes to kids club while I do my workout. And it is hard for us to get out of the house. I will tell you, getting a kid out of the house is not easy. We have shoes. We need to brush our teeth. We need to have food, like all the things that need to happen. So I've realized if I have a time that I need to go for and then I back up and I plan to leave the house like 45 minutes before that time, usually I can make it to my class on time. And uh, so I found that that's been really helpful for me. Also, it's helpful for me to go to the gym. When I had one child, I could work out at home, but now with two children, working out at home is very, very difficult. (laughs) There's some distraction, someone's crying, someone needs me. I have found that I can no longer work out at home. So I'm very glad I got that gym membership uh, when I was pregnant and I've just really enjoy the classes because it's kind of like my time out. I put my phone down. I I do either um, some like a weight class with weights or like a step class or I've even done like a Zumba or dance class and it's just fun. There's loud music. Music. There's a lot of people out in the room with me. And so I've realized like I really need that community to work out for myself. 
So that boosts my mood. That's the number one habit I try and do every day. If I can't make it to the gym, which trust me, it does not always happen, then I try and do something here at home or in the garage or maybe I'll walk to the library or the park with my daughter, just doing something. The second habit I try and do every day is to read. Read some sort of positive personal development book. This is really important for me uh, because it just helps my mind. I'm learning something and it keeps me positive. And I have found lately that um, the only way I can read these days, and I hope you enjoy my little tips uh, because I've been really struggling with reading uh, with a, a, what is she now? Four, she's four months. When you're listening to this, she'll, she'll be five months. Um, and I've been really struggling with reading because with my uh, with my little baby, it's hard to hold a book. And even while nursing, like I can't hold it's, I can't hold a book. So I have been using the Kindle app and I have been buying books on Kindle and I've been reading that using the Kindle app on my iPhone which if you're not doing that, it's incredible because you can then highlight things that you're learning and that you're reading, and then you can go back to the books and see what you highlighted before. And before I was doing a lot of library books, so I wasn't able to like highlight things because I was always returning those books. So uh, things have changed. I'm now doing Kindle books because it's the only way I can read now and it's working for me. So whatever works for you, uh, but sometimes you need those little hacks and you need those little things in your life to make things easier. So that's my way of making reading easier and making this habit easier for me to do every single day. So that's my first thing in the morning when my daughter wakes up and she's hungry and I'm nursing her. I, I read a personal development book in that first feeding of the day. So at least I'm starting my day with something positive um, right then and there. The third thing I do every day is I review my goals, my annual goals that I've created in my 90-day planner so I know where I'm headed. And this will help me throughout the day, like think about my vision and where I want to go when opportunities come up, when emails come in, when things like we could do throughout the year come up. I, it helps me make decisions when I am thinking about my goals and where I really want to be. So this will impact, uh, you know, what I do that day, the ideas I have, like sometimes my best ideas come while I'm driving or while I'm in the shower. It's not even while I'm working when I have the best ideas. And so I've found that just reviewing my goals and looking at my vision journal and my vision board, reviewing that helps get those ideas flowing when I'm in the shower or when I'm I'm just out working out or something like that. It will help me have more ideas to reach my goals. The fourth thing I do is I try to do, how many times do I have to say, I try to do, I just really want to make that clear so you guys don't think I'm a crazy woman doing all these things every day. Um, the fourth thing I try and do is write in my gratitude journal. So every day I try to write down three things I am grateful for. Because when you're grateful for the things you have, no matter how small they may be, you will see those things instantly increase and you'll be happier when you can count your blessings. The more gratitude you feel, the happier you will be. And studies show that people who practice gratitude have closer relationships, they're more connected to family and friends, and they have have people look upon them more favorably. So even being thankful you know, for your boss will give you more patience, understanding, compassion, and kindness. If you're kind of, there's some things about your boss that you're not enjoying, still being thankful for those positive things. You'll forget about the things you used to complain about them if you are, if you can start being thankful for them. Um, so I once had a very tough client in my prior corporate consulting job who was not very nice to me. Um, but I continued to be thankful to her and showed her like I was that was how I started to handle difficult clients and situ situations with class. It's kind of actually where the whole idea of Classy Career Girl came from because I started to practice being grateful for that job, right? Like even if I had a pretty bad client, there were things that I was thankful for. And this is exactly why I make it a habit in my morning routine to write down three things I'm grateful for each day. It makes me happier. It gives me a better outlook for the day. 
you know, even if things aren't there, even if you can't think of (laughs) too much to be grateful for, oftentimes I'm writing down like my cup of coffee, um, you know, like little, little things like my daughter slept through the night. I would be very, very grateful for that. It's the little things that sometimes we forget about that can mean so much for us. Okay, so the fifth thing I do is affirmations. And if you listen to our podcast um, back a few weeks ago, we did a whole podcast on affirmations. So I recommend that you go back and you listen to that. So you know how much I believe in affirmations. So affirmations are positive statements and I recommend repeating them every single day. It's something I try and do every morning along with reading a book. And so I have it on my iPhone and I open up and I read the same affirmation every single day. And I've been doing this actually with my daughter lately because uh, I was having I'm having a hard time finding alone time uh, in my day to read these affirmations. And so finally, I was like, she's four and a half. She's ready. And so now we've ca- we've been saying these affirmations together and I've been reading them to her just so I can get them. I can start listening to them and then she's around. So she hears them, too. And I love the last thing I say every day is I choose to make today the best day of my life. And we started talking about that and how important that is that we have the choice to make today the best day of my life. And if you can just simplify affirmations to like a four and a half year old, right? Like walking into school and how important it is to to be positive and to make today the best day of our lives. Like every day we have that choice. And so that's the benefit of having an affirmation and to reading it every day is because you can change your thought process and you can actually change your day by being more positive. So I highly recommend reading affirmations in the morning. Um, And if you have to do them with your kids, right? Uh, The sixth thing I try and do is some sort of writing or journaling. I try my hardest (laughs) to write a blog post or to write in, I have a a journal that I have for both of my daughters that go through like their, their first five years of their life. And I, I try to write down one thing every day that happened in our day or, or a special memory that we've had. I do not always do that, (laughs) but I try their, their journals might be like their first 10 years because instead of their first five years, but that'll be cool. Right? So to me, this is another form of gratitude for myself. Just writing my blog, um, helps others. And that makes me happy or writing for my daughters. That's another like thing that I'm grateful for. And sometimes it's just writing an Instagram post. Like I've been trying to write more on my Honor Runyon Instagram account and document what's going on in my life. Some sort of writing. Um, You may not be a writer or enjoy writing, but for me, this is something that I do enjoy. It just gets put to the back burner. I, I don't have enough time to write. And actually one of my goals this year is to write another book. And so this one needs to become more of a priority for myself, but I'm trying to do a little bit every day. So as long as I'm doing this a little bit every day, I feel better. The seventh thing, uh, the seventh habit I'm working on is water, drinking (laughs) water, I need to drink more water. Um, So right when I'm done with this podcast, I'm going to (laughs) go fill up my water bottle. Um, So what I've done to make this simple for me, because the key here that I do want to emphasize is these are all habits, but you have to do things to make your habits easier. So I have found that I that my habit for water is to fill up four water bottles, put them in the fridge the night before, and then the next day I try to drink all four of those bottles. If I don't do that and I trust myself to remember to go down to the fridge and refill my water bottle and to make sure, and then I lose track of how much water I've had. So for me, that's been helpful for me because I can be like, oh, I've only drank two water bottles um, and, you know, it's nighttime. Like I need to drink a lot more this evening and I don't always make it, but at least I am headed in the right direction of drinking a lot of water. I don't need to go through the benefits of drinking water. You guys all know that. Um, Number eight is I try to make it a habit of working on a top priority in my business. So I use my weekly plan, which is in our my free 90 day planner that you can get at www.classycareergirl.com forward slash free plan. 
And inside of that plan, there is a weekly pl- planning sheet. So every week, there's tw- 13 weeks of weekly planning sheets that you do in your 90 days. And so every week, I know what my top three priorities are for that week. And if I don't get anything else done, I try to at least get those top three priorities done because that's moving my career, my business, my life in the direction that I want it to. So every day, even on Fridays and weekends, I try to do one little thing that is going to help me complete those top three priorities so every week I can get those done. So it helps to know what your priorities are. And I say I do this on the weekends too because most of the time I love doing those top priorities. I love what I do. I love my career. I love my business. I love my job. And so those top three priorities are usually like the really exciting and the really fun stuff that I'm working on. And so that's why it's easy for me to, you know, stay up a little late to work on them or to just make one little baby step um, headed in that direction of that priority. The ninth thing I do is take my vitamins. You guys know, I don't need to tell you, you got to take those vitamins daily and I am not the best at remembering to do that, which is why I have this habit checklist to remind myself to do that. Even if I put the vitamin bottle like by my bed, I still forget. So uh, take your vitamins, guys. Take your vitamins. Uh, The tenth thing I try and do is some sort of quiet time meditation, even if it's 30 seconds of shutting my eyes. Let's just be real. New mom here. (laughs) Quietness meditation doesn't happen often, but it's a habit I try to get just a little bit of quiet time shutting my eyes. It's hard for me to find, but I, I'm more relaxed. Like even if I can just shut my eyes and take a few deep breaths, which I will probably do after I get done with this podcast, I will feel more relaxed and happier. Number 11 is my green smoothie. I try to drink my green smoothie every day because that means that I got some spinach in my body at least once that day. And I also don't need to tell you the benefits of vegetables. Very, very important. So make sure you get in your green smoothie every day. Uh, Number 12, I try to do some sort of devotional. I am a Christian. I received that message yesterday on Instagram. Someone was saying, are you a Christian? I've been wondering. I am a Christian. Uh, Reading my Bible is important. Daily devotionals is definitely important. And here's another habit I have made to make it easier for me is I have devotionals sent to my email that gets sent to me every single day. So that's another thing I try and do every morning is open up that email and read it. And that's another way for uh, me to to read my Bible and to read the verses and just to get do that habit every single day. Okay, so if you, that's a lot, I know, I'll repeat them again, but if you want to see these, if you want to see me doing these, trying to do these habits every day, um, I'm going to be trying to do better of putting these habits on my Instagram stories on my Honor Running account. That's my personal account, A-N-N-A-R-U-N-Y-A-N on Instagram. So make sure you follow that account and follow my stories on that account and I will show you, maybe I'll make it my goal to show you, uh, try, try to show you when I try to do these habits every single day. And also make sure you're following our Classy Career Girl account as well because uh, another thing that I try and do is answer reader questions every day because that also boosts my mood and makes me happier because I love helping people. And it's not one of the top 12, but it probably should be is if you ask me a question on either of those Instagram accounts, most likely you'll hear back from me with an answer and I'll try and help you out or send you a blog article that you'll find helpful. So come make sure that you're following us on those Instagram accounts. So to summarize and to review the 12 daily habits for success and happiness, Number one, some sort of working out, doing something active. Number two, reading a personal development book. Number three, reviewing your goals and your vision board. Number four, writing down three things that you're grateful for. Number five, repeating affirmations or positive statements every day. Number six, some sort of writing or journaling. Number seven, drinking that water. Number eight, working on your top priority in your career or business. 
Number nine, make sure you take your vitamins. I'll be your mom. Uh, Number 10, some quiet time, meditation, shutting the eyes and breathing. Number 11, green smoothie time. Eat those vegetables. Get that spinach in, guys. Uh, Number 12, my devotional, my daily devotionals, reading my Bible. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. I'd love to hear what your habits are. Like, what are other habits that I'm not thinking of? Maybe I need to add some add some in, or which of these 12 do you try to do every single day? So I hope you have a great day. If, if you can just add one little habit to your day, I know it will improve your day. Uh, before we go, I have two things for you. First of all, before I go, I want to say thank you for sharing all your screenshots on Instagram. I've seen those come through on our Classy Career Girl account. Thank you so much for sharing this Classy Career Girl podcast with others. It means so, so, so much to me and to our entire team. So we are closing in on 50 reviews on iTunes and also 500,000 downloads. How awesome is that? So I'm wondering if you and our entire Classy Career Girl community can rally and get us past those 50 reviews. Uh, Make sure you are subscribed and you review the show on iTunes or whatever platform you use. Also, please share the show. Take a screenshot of the episode that you are listening to on Instagram or Facebook and tag Classy Career Girl in your stories or in your profile. Can we get to 50 reviews? I think we can do it. So thank you so much. Thanks for sharing this with others. I truly appreciate it. If you enjoy this show, I really, really appreciate it. you sharing it with someone else so it can be beneficial to others as well. One last thing, remember this, you can create your future. You are in control of your calendar, your day, your response to what happens in your life. You're in control of your habits each day, your mindset, and you can make your dream happen. I believe in you, so let's do it.